But we begin tonight with developing news from Lincoln, where first-year Nebraska headman Mike Riley has been named in a federal Title IX sexual assault lawsuit dating back to 1999. The complaint filed by a woman who says she was raped by an Oregon State football player's cousin alleges that Riley and Oregon State University allowed a, quote, sexually violent culture. The university has refuted all allegations in the lawsuit, which is seeking $7.5 million in damages. Mike Riley issued the following statement in response to those allegations, and I quote, Yesterday, I was made aware of a complaint filed in the state of Oregon concerning a previously unknown incident to me in October 1999. I cannot comment on any matter in the legal process. However, I am committed to a harassment-free culture in our football program, and I am continually seeking ways to expand our student education program. Sexual assault is a horrendous crime and has no place in our society. For more on this developing story, we go to Lincoln, Nebraska, check in with former Cornhusker player and currently one of the voices of Husker football, Matt Davison. Matt, as you know, Mike Riley, one of the most well-respected, most well-liked men in the coaching profession. How surprised were you to even hear this story surface? Well, obviously, Rick, this is a really serious topic. Uh, this is something that Mike Riley is obviously taking very seriously. Um, you know, I think it's worth noting that this incident allegedly happened in 1999. Mike Riley was the head coach of the San Diego Chargers that season, and so he wasn't a part of the program that year at Oregon State. Uh, but this is very serious. Uh, Mike Riley is, is a great guy. Um, he shows a ton of character. And I know that the culture that he has brought to Nebraska is the right culture. I can't speak to what happened in 1999. But I can tell you that from the time that Mike Riley has been here in Lincoln, he's been very impressive. And, and I know that he's going to treat this with all the seriousness that it, that it deserves. Matt, we already provided the statement that Mike Riley offered on Wednesday. What's the reaction been like if there has been any from players or the Nebraska fan base today? You know, I haven't really seen much reaction yet, uh, Rick. On social media, obviously, you're going to get people that are saying different things and wondering about different things. I think, though, the, the overwhelming narrative here has been that Mike Riley has shown nothing but the utmost character that you could ever ask out of a football coach since he's been here in Lincoln. It was quite a few years ago that this allegedly happened in 1999. And, and so obviously it's a very serious issue. It's something that's going to be treated with, with every bit of seriousness that it deserves. But at this point, I think it, we just need to wait for more details to come out. I don't think there's any more that needs to be said at this point. I think you wait for the investigation or whatever it is that's going to happen next. And we'll go from there. But, but all we know here in Nebraska is what we've seen of Mike Riley so far in the last eight or nine months, and, and that has been very impressive. Matt, any chance in your opinion this is a distraction against BYU this weekend? You know, I don't think so. I, I know as a player, if you're in the locker room, this is just a blip on the radar. I don't even know that a lot of the players probably even know about this. And so I, I wouldn't guess this is going to affect the game or the outcome of the game on Saturday at all. And knowing Mike Riley, he's been around for a long time, and he's a guy that can stay focused. I know he's going to have his players ready to go, his staff ready to go. I don't really see this as anything that, that's any more than a statement that was put out, and I know they're going to get back to work this afternoon and, and evening and, and get to practice and, and try to get better and get ready for Saturday. All right, Matt, thanks. Stick around. We'll have much more from you coming up a bit later in the show as we actually break down the Nebraska-BYU game. Thanks for the time, bud. Thanks, Rick.